there life on Mars? The answer is, we don't know. But we do know that life on Earth exists in many extreme environments, like the hot, poisonous, gas-filled waters inside abandoned mines, or the frozen ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica, where temperatures can drop below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Lisa Pratt, an Indiana University astrobiologist and NASA's planetary protection officer, is studying evidence that life may exist beyond Earth. The only problem is, it's really hard to go to space, so scientists explore those other places on our planet that mimic the extreme conditions on other planets. If diverse bacteria can grow and reproduce in sub-zero temperatures, or extreme heat on Earth, then maybe, maybe they can live in similar environments on other planets. But it isn't enough to simply visit these extreme environments. Scientists also need to collect samples of water, soil, rock, and gases in really uncomfortable and dangerous conditions to analyze their composition and chemistry and see if they harbor life. This teaches us about the likely limits of life in other places, like the arid soils on Mars or caverns beneath the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. But the best way to look for life on Mars is to go to Mars. NASA will launch a new rover to Mars in the summer of 2020, and it arrives in 2021. The rover will search for signs of past microbial life and collect samples of Martian rocks and soil. After collecting the rocks, scientists need to figure out how to get them back to Earth. Pratt works closely with a group called NASA's Return Sample Science Board, who are working to figure out how to pick up the Martian samples for return to Earth using a probe that launches in 2026. Studying these rocks could shed light on one of human history's most profound questions. Are we alone?